Hey everybody, Bob Ostrom here from BobTeachesArt.com and today I wanted to take a look at Illustrator and one of those pesky little things that can happen when you're working with Illustrator saving as PDFs. So I've been working with a lot of designs this week and I ran into this problem and I couldn't quite figure out what was happening because my client kept telling me that when I sent them files as PDFs, when they looked at them, they would see layers of text and things were all kind of weird and they weren't working properly. And so I started to think about like, why was this happening? I, I, I looked at it on my machine and everything looked great. And then I kind of boiled it down and I realized that we weren't using the same program to look at that PDF file. Uh, they were actually using a program in Mac called Preview and then uh, some other programs will do this as well. But here, let me just uh, give you guys a quick look at the, the file type and what was happening there and see if we can't figure out how to fix that. So here I am in Illustrator and I'm looking at this file and you can see that I use this same piece of artwork with a couple of different titles in it and this suits me just fine. So whenever I need uh, one of these titles, I just click on it, save it that way, and then I'm good to go. But here's the problem. So if I take a look at this as a PDF uh, in Adobe Acrobat, it looks great. But if I switch over to Preview, you can see that, oh, it's looking at all those layers and it's not quite sure what's happening there. So the preview is actually showing me each of those hidden layers that it's not supposed to show. And that's really not cool. So here's how I went about fixing that. So I want, let's go back to Illustrator here. And you can see that I've got these uh, selected and I've decided that I'm just gonna stick with this one right here, Learn uh, Illustrator. And so now when I go ahead and save this, I'm gonna say File, Save As. Up pops the PDF right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. Um, and when it shows this little interface right here, what I wanna do is I wanna select, or, or I should say deselect, create Acrobat layers, top levels, this guy right here. So if I get rid of this one, and I go ahead and save that as a PDF. It's a bit, don't worry about that. That has nothing to do with what I'm teaching here. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now if I go and take that same document and open it back up in preview, you can see that it cleans it up for me. And this is going to work for um, just about any of those other programs that have that same situation where they're looking at multiple layers and they're not quite sure what's going on with it. There is another way to fix this, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so I'm back in Illustrator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to take all these three layers right here, Go ahead and select those, and I'm gonna drag them and drop them into this layer right here. I'm gonna keep that one selected that I'm gonna be showing. Let's go ahead and just switch it up for this one. We'll go ahead and learn PSD for this. I'm gonna say File, Save As. We'll save it as a PDF again. This time I'm not gonna worry about this guy. It can be checked or unchecked. I'll go ahead and save that. Okay, and here's that same file again. I'll take this, drag this into preview, and you can see it's nice and clean just the way that I wanted it to. So those two methods are something that will help clean this up for you. If you're struggling with this, um, this is a pretty surefire method. If you have another way or a better way, I'd love to see it. Uh, go ahead and contact me over at Bob Teaches Art, and I'll take a look at that, and maybe we can throw that into the, uh, the notes for this thing. So thanks for joining me. If you like these lessons and you want to learn a little bit more, come join me at BobTeachesArt.com. I'll see you real soon.